Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and um, yeah, today as you can see I have another monitor from AOC on my desk here and today I have the HE272FCX which is a monitor that costs less than 400 euros uh, but has a, a bunch of nice features like the bezel-less uh, design and it's curved and it's 144 hertz and also uses a MVA panel. And um, yeah, today we're gonna open this up here, see what we get if we spend that amount of money on a, a monitor and um, yeah, take a uh, closer peek at it, our uh, first peek, you know. And um, yeah, I'm gonna follow it up with a review, so definitely stay tuned on my channel if you're interested in what are my final thoughts and my verdict for this uh, screen here. So yeah, uh, yeah, if you liked the video, hit that like button and uh, comment down below if you have any questions or something. And if you haven't subscribed, then definitely subscribe too. But anyway, let's open this up and let's see uh, what we get if we spend less than 400 euros on a gaming monitor. Alright, so the package itself, a typical AFC a gaming design and uh, yeah, really really nice packaging as always from AFC. And um, yeah, let's uh, open this up and... Uh, Let's see what's inside. Uh, okay, so, all right. Uh, we do get a uh, small dongle, a small remote, uh, a quick remote if you wish, uh, where you can, you know, easily adjust uh, um, different settings. So if you if you want to watch movies, you're going to select your first setting or second setting. And if you're going to, uh, to play some games, you're going to select the gaming setting. So that's a pretty neat feature, actually, uh, especially for uh, gamers, I guess. Uh, then we do find a, 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 a disc with drivers. Well, maybe somebody uses Windows 95, so you need a driver disc. But anyway. Uh, we do find a HDMI cable. Now, uh, this is a review unit here, and as I see, it has been opened already before, uh, so it's not a brand new unit here. Uh, but, but that's nothing, uh, nothing to worry about. So, a power uh, supply unit here, also typical AOC design, really, really nice. Uh, and uh, we do find one. Uh, display board cable here. Uh, there's a lot of cables here actually. Uh, we do find a microphone uh, cable. So you can actually hook this monitor uh, to your PC and then hook your microphone to the monitor, I guess. Uh, we, do find, uh, we do find the USB uplink cable uh, that you use to hook up your PC to the monitor. And uh, of course, the power supplies, uh, other cable, and that's uh, kind of about it, I guess. Of course, there's the audio cable also, so microphone and audio cables, and uh, some screws for the uh, leg, I guess, to screw the leg into the uh, into the monitor. And here we have the stand. And the typical really nice sturdy stand, which is covered with this uh, pyro... What is it? Pyroflow? No? I can't. Need to, need to figure out what's the name in English, but it's covered in it. But it's a nice sturdy leg, uh, as always, uh, as uh, AOC is implementing into their products. And newer ones, which are coming out next year, should be black in design. So, I mean, both really look uh, nice. Uh, I really love the silver also, but the black looked pretty good also. Uh, so, let's take this off here and... Uh, Alright, so, nothing in plastic this time, uh, plastic bags. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, stand and uh, we're gonna use the four screws to screw this uh, into the uh, monitor. This part here is from plastic, but this here is metal. This is nice plastic and um, yeah, it's a really, really nice design. And there's a handle to, you know, <laughs> handle your monitor so you can, you know, move it all around. And um, yeah, the screen itself here, I'm gonna try and get the screen out somehow here. Let's see how does this work. All right. 
That was easy. Man, it's a pretty small screen actually. I haven't, uh, I haven't used, I haven't used uh, small screens in a while. But anyway, uh, we're gonna do this thing here. Let's put this here, and then let's put this here, so we don't, you know, somehow break the screen if we're, you know, attaching something to it, like like the stand. So or the leg or whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna screw in the screws here and we're gonna check out how it looks but yeah the panel itself I mean looks really really decent and uh, yeah really loving the look here there's some uh, uh, LED lights here that you can change color I think it was uh, red blue and green that you could choose from and uh, yeah some specifications maybe here also that you can see uh, how big is it and what exactly it has but I'm gonna uh, attach the uh, attach the leg to the unit and then we're gonna see how it looks like too Alright, so that's the stand or the leg hooked up and uh, now let's hook the Stand, I guess, to the monitor up. Oh, there we go. And uh, let's screw it in here. This has just a nice thumb screw here. Really easy to connect. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So, one thing that I forgot to show you guys are the ports. I'm gonna show them in this unboxing video for you guys quickly, also. Uh, but yeah, these are the boards here. Hope you can see enough. There's one display board, uh, two HDMI's and a prehistoric VGA board. And of course there was uh, the mi microphone and the uh, speaker uh, board also, the headphone folk board. And there's two USBs here, a one uplink board and of course there was this uh, mini USB uh, for the remote also there. And uh, yeah, we do find a nice hanger for our, you know, headphones also here. So pretty nice, uh, well-built uh, monitor. And uh, yeah, this is how it looks here. So maybe if I'm gonna, let's see, let's put uh, my keyboard and my mouse here. Maybe you get some idea how it would look like on your desk. So, I mean, really, really nice. And it's a really nice size, 27 inches. Uh, with this borderless design, it looks absolutely great. Although I'm, I'm still, you know, not fancying that the screen actually ends like a centimeter uh, before the uh, black bar here. But definitely, again, then again, when thinking of it, uh, I would actually prefer it prefer uh, miters to be like this and have a black bar here than have ugly plastic covering the bar. So that's uh, a <laughs> conclusion that I came to. Uh, when further, you know, checking out these uh, borderless uh, designs. But maybe someday they will, you know, uh, figure out how to end the screen where, where this, you know, end is. I hope I... yeah, yeah, that's what I did, meant. Anyway, so that's gonna be it for my unboxing video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully you liked it, and uh, yeah. Stick around to see the actual review also, but this was the unboxing of the AG272FCX Which looks to be a really nice gaming monitor, but uh, how good is it exactly? That's what I'm gonna figure out in the review. So thanks for watching at the moment. Leave a like, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you soon guys. Ciao for now.